staging a house to sell. Hi, my name is Elena Kavrigian, I am a realtor in Asheville, North Carolina and in this video I'm gonna tell you what staging is, why you as a seller should consider doing it and how to actually do it. Staging is basically getting your house ready for sale by making it appealing to the highest number of potential buyers. Why you as a seller should consider staging your house? Well, first of all, staging helps sell the house quicker and for more money. Yay! So we all heard an expression, first impression matters and you only have one chance to make a good impression. And that's exactly what staging does. It makes great first impression on potential buyers. As soon as your house hits the market, it becomes a product. And just like any other product on the shelf, it is not only great marketing, but great packaging. And by packaging, I'm talking about staging and having great curb appeal. Why is it important? Because believe it or not, buyers make a decision to purchase a certain house based on their emotions. Yes, I mean, of course, all the criteria has to come together, such as price, location and features of the house, the number of rooms and bathrooms, but that happens before they even step foot into your house. Once they step foot into your house, you need to make the best first impression possible so that they fall in love with your house. Oh my God. They can imagine themselves living in your house. That's how they make a decision to make an offer on your house. Let's do it! <laughs> now, all that sounds nice in theory, right? But how exactly do you accomplish this? One of the things that you can do is hire a professional who specializes in staging houses. Of course, that will come with a price tag and if you're not ready to spend more money, let's move on to the next option. If you walked into a model home and thought to yourself, oh my god, I can totally see myself living here, it's decorated so tastefully, this reaction is the result of effective staging. All model homes are very neutral and this is what you need to do with your staging. One of the easiest and quickest things to neutralize your home is to change a wall color to a more neutral color. I've never seen a model home with crazy or bright wall colors, so you shouldn't have crazy or bright wall colors yet in your house. Next, unless you're moving out and the house is completely vacant, you can probably work with whatever you already have uh, when it comes to furniture and some accessories. For most people, it would be taking away items and not adding items. Remember, in staging, less is more. Try to make a good use of your furniture Keep in mind that oversized furniture makes a room look smaller and small furniture makes a big room look even bigger. Use your furniture to define spaces. It can be challenging for potential buyers to visualize where to put their furniture, especially if it's an open floor plan concept. Help them out a little bit by defining the living room and dining room by furniture that you already have. Next on the list. Get rid of all the personal items such as photographs, knickknacks, some maybe trophies in your office or in your basement. You do not want buyers to start wondering who lives here, what kind of family, do they have children, what kind of hobbies, where they work. Your goal with staging is to make buyers see themselves living in your house. Now that you neutralized uh, your interior colors, got rid of excessive furniture, knickknacks and personal items, you can add some accessories such as pillows, curtains, area rugs, and some wall art to make your house look like it's been professionally decorated. Last but not least, clean, clean, clean. Clean House sends a message to the potential buyers that it's been very well maintained, loved, and that is moving ready. <coughs> Let's talk about big elephant in the room that some houses might have. Let's face it, pretty much every house has its own smell. You like it or not, your house, your house probably smells. Neutralize any smells by cleaning. But 
don't go too overboard with those fresheners and plugins that will make your house smell like a aisle at Bed Bath & Beyond where they sell all those smelly candles and plugins. That can be a turn off for some buyers. So everything in moderation. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, put a thumbs up and say it in the comments. I will see you next time. Happy selling!